This is a 2013 iPad Air, which I got for 31 UK pounds on an auction on eBay. I was surprised to find that for a couple of purposes, it's very usable, in 2023 at least. It released alongside the iPhone 5S and 5C in 2013, and has been updated all the way through to iOS 12. The chip inside is the Apple A7, which is the same as the iPhone 5S had. As a cheap and reliable e-reader, this iPad is perfect. The screen is still high quality, and the Apple Books app will be supported for years to come. I try and read a couple of chapters of my ebooks every day, while on a journey or before bed. The battery on this thing consistently lasts up to five days. That's just with ebook usage. I think that's great for such an old device. All right, but the performance is lacking a little bit in other areas though. Opening apps is a bit glitchy and quite slow, and things like the camera and microphone are obviously dated. Not all the old parts are bad though. It's nice to have a headphone jack, for example, and the speakers aren't bad at all. The low light performance of the camera is beyond acceptable at this point, really, but I didn't buy it for the camera. I'm a firm believer that you should buy devices to solve problems or complete tasks you know need doing. I don't like using all my phone battery on reading books, and the screen is far too small. This iPad solved both those problems for me. I did find another use for it though. If you're a YouTuber and you have to write scripts and uh, display them while you're recording, this iPad works pretty well. I mean, I had to do that for this video and I used it. The on-screen keyboard is a good size and feels responsive when using it. Also, I've got to briefly mention the size of this thing. It's thinner and lighter than almost all the iPads on the 2023 lineup. It's got the same lightning port as well, so it connects the same as your iPhone would to chargers at home. So yeah, great device then, great device now. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more.